So does robotic surgery have any role in management of rectal cancer? Does it have any obvious advantages over laparoscopic surgery? Hello, I'm Dr. Chintamani Godbule. I'm a consultant gastroenterist and and colorectal surgeon. I routinely perform robotic surgery for rectal cancer. In my earlier video, I had explained the difference between laparoscopic and robotic surgical instrumentation. To summarize, laparoscopic instruments are relatively rigid and they do not move as much as robotic instruments do. In contrast, robotic instruments move exactly like a person's hand and the surgeon can perform fine and accurate surgical movements. The advantages of robotic surgery are particularly realized in treatment of rectal cancer. The rectum is the last part of our large intestine and is located deep within the pelvis bone. In men, it is surrounded by the sacrum or the tailbone in the back and the prostate and the urinary bladder in the front. In women, there is uterus and vagina in the front. On the sides of the rectum, there are important blood vessels and nerves which supply organs in the pelvis and the lower limbs. Especially in men, the pelvic cavity is very narrow and has extremely limited space. Therefore, while performing surgery for rectal cancer, it is very important to remove the rectum entirely with the lymph nodes which surround it. At the same time, not cause any damage to the structure surrounding it. This is where robotic surgery is of extreme advantage. As discussed earlier, robotic surgery offers excellent views in the depth of the pelvis and enables the surgeon to perform extremely accurate fine motor movements which can achieve the accurate separation of rectum from the surrounding structures. This advantage of, uh, of robotic surgery is significantly more over open or laparoscopic approaches. Hence, nowadays we can say that robotic surgery has become the new standard of care as far as doing surgery for rectal cancer is concerned. Thank you for watching.